And here's a 70 Hemi Cuda, which I'll show in more detail here shortly. All right, well, here we are in Arkansas. How about a uh, 70 Roadrunner convertible? Oh, someone's coming in behind me. But it's a 3 to 3 car. And then over here, it's a 70 Challenger RT convertible. Get out of the way real quick. And here's a 70 Hemi Cuda, which I'll show in more detail here shortly. Because uh, there's a lot to take in, to say the least. But this 70 Challenger RT convertible, it's a 3 to 3 car. I believe you said it was an automatic. Oh. Yeah, let's see if I can get in there. Nope. Can't see burnt orange interior though. And then here's a better view of the 70 road on a convertible. Let's see if we can find the fender tag. Nope, it's not on there right now. Power steering car from the looks of it. But the parts are everywhere. Just everywhere. And there's still yet a third barn, which I just barely dipped my toe into. Okay, well, I thought I'd do a separate video on this car right here. It's a 1970 Hemi Cuda, and it's buried in a, bar in a barn. That's right, this is a 1970 Hemi Cuda. You can tell by the VIN number, which I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I pull out my light, which is in my other jacket. But it's a BS23ROB car. It is quadruple black, which means it is a black car, black interior, originally a black vinyl top. And it also has a black rubber front bumper. When I get to the fender tag, which is off the car right now, I'll do a full breakdown. But it's really cool. I'll show the engine. The original engine is, oh, it's also a four-speed car. Rally Dash. Let me get my light. Hold on. Okay, I got light now. Real quick. It's a four-speed car. Rally Dash. AM FM 8 track, three speaker dash. And mostly here. It's been sitting for who knows how long, but I'll get the history here from Danny in just a little bit. Enlighten us about what all's going on with it. Okay, hey Danny, I just came from the Hemi Cuda in your other barn and uh, it's a real triple black. So it's a black car, black interior, black vinyl top, Black rubber bumper car, yes. Hemi four speed, eight track rally gauges, super track pack, super track pack, four ten gear. Yeah, where did you get it from? The car was in the newspaper in Memphis in 1978 for two thousand dollars. Wow! And I showed up, and the motor was gone, the bucket seats were gone, and the six way seat adjuster was gone with the bucket seats. Oh, okay. And I knew the guy. I went to high school with him. I said, I want it. I'll be back tomorrow with the money. I got to go get it from my credit union. You know, I showed up and I'm painting $100 bills and a guy shows up behind me and says, I'll double it. He said, I went to school with him. Go away. So he oh, would, that's he, great. He wouldn't short sell me on that car since I went to school with him and we, and we knew each other. Oh, very nice. Well, uh, I found a chance to get a Hemi motor brand new in, in the crate. Oh, Short I thought it was, the, I, I apologize. I thought it was the one that was with the car. So, no. like. Gotcha, okay. Okay, there was a, a Hemi short block in the crate on eBay in 2011. And luckily I won $200,000 on Powerball in 2011. 
Okay. And not only did I, I tell my wife I needed that motor, but her ex-husband, who's an auto mechanic, said, no, that car needs that motor, no matter what the cost is. It needs to be in that car, because it was a September of 69 motor, and that's a December of 69 car. Oh, so wow, it's okay. it's kind of in the window, and it's got, it's got the blue tag on it, warranty replacement motor with no serial numbers on the VIN tag pad. Gotcha. So anyway, we bought the motor, drove to Warren, Michigan, picked it up, bought it off of eBay, and brought it home, and I've been collecting parts for it all the time through year one and the paddock and places like that to complete the motor because I knew someday I would put this car together. Gotcha, okay. So I have NOS in the in the box. I have the shaker tray, the shaker air cleaner assembly. I have the, the, the gasket that goes around your trays. Mm -hmm. I got the cables. I got all that stuff brand new in the boxes so when the car gets put together, it's, it's there all there. It. It's there for it. Wow. And I'm gonna go inside. I know the block's in the house, so I'm yes. gonna go show that in a little and, bit. And there's a set of heads you can take pictures of right beside the jukebox in the house. Yeah. Okay, of course, the jukebox in the house. Right. Everyone has one of those. There you go. That's all. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you letting me take a look at it. Yes, sir. All right, well, the right. Hemi is in their house, and it's an, that is the original Chrysler crate it came in. They have other paperwork, but that's a set of Hemi heads for it. I'll check out the casting date later and do my voiceover what it exactly it works out to be. And then, uh, let's see if you can see in here. I'll get my flashlight out. That's an original. Got the blue tag for the warranty block. How cool is that? An original 426 Hemi warranty engine. Oh, and there's a set, there's the valve covers. There's the semi dash cable, no sock clutch plate, carb, whoop, shaker air cleaner, and then, oh, that's right, hold on. Why did this weird out? Here is the original shaker, which I will show here in just one second. All right, just pulled the shaker out of the box. It's original 1970 Hammy Cuda Shaker. Been sitting for a while. Oh, actually, I didn't guess it's not. It's originally a 340 Shaker. Interesting. Oh, why is it? There we go. That's pretty darn cool. This is where I had to bail out. We only went down to document the cars that he had and then to continue on. But Billy, who bought the cars and a few other guys, they actually went back to pull the 70 Barracuda and some other cars out of the property a few weeks later. The guy who took the recording of the Hemi Cuda that's coming up, having it come out of the barn, is Jesse. He's on the right. And Dan is the guy on the left. He's the guy who actually got me involved in pulling the car and documenting it and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to go through just a few of the pictures because it clarifies a few of the things. Especially I did a thing at the end of these pictures where I went through the fender tag of the car explaining what every single option is. You can see the car has only 31,000 original miles on it before who knows what happened because the owner that we bought it from or the guy bought it from never did anything with it. And uh, here's the fender tag and then I went through and broke down each of the rows and what it means so that way people can understand how unique and cool this quadruple black Hemi Cuda is in reality. I'm making sure to get Dan spouting off orders, Billy. This is what Dan does best. That's right, just get a big chain. Got on that side. 
Go for it. Uh, oh, I did not put your hand in the roll, but good. Uh, we got it. It's just an old car. What difference does it make? Hey, we're against this hood back here. Hang on. Hang on, you're dead in the door. This is great. Dan's doing physical labor. It happens once in a while. It does, very few. It's on video, man. It's on video. Nobody's <laughs> 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 It is in gear. <laughs> it is. He'll put it in neutral. Well, that's true. Uh, let's go. Push it on back. Hang on a sec. No. Okay, you got that strap. You bring that strap down. Can you crawl your ass in there and strap that training up? Okay. And action. Action. <laughs> Just leave it right like that. You're good. Now start coming back that way. Just there you go, right there. Leave it right there. <laughs> now stop. This was the Hemikuda right after they pulled it out of the garage. It really was a neat car to say the least. I mean quadruple black. Thankfully though those rims were only on the car so it could roll. The original rally rims did come with it and as a Mopar guy they're even numbered very unique so thankfully it has them. I'll hopefully have a picture here at the end showing it and uh, here's the few of the other cars that were in the barn and more to come. Hey everyone, thought you might like that quick video on the 70 Hemi Cuda that was pulled out of the garage in Arkansas. It had moved around for a bit. It last moved around 2011, I believe, from where the owner had previously lived in Memphis to where it was in Arkansas. The car is currently being cleaned up and will be available for purchase here in the near future. It will be coming with that Hemi that you saw in the video, which was really cool. This was just the beginning of this video series. I'm not going to release them all at the same time. I'll break them up a little bit because there's like a 70 Challenger TA that you saw at the end of the video and a few others. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe so I can keep on doing this. Everyone stay safe and I'll see you all soon.